Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, K Gray. So, today, I am not showing y'all a makeup tutorial, but I am showing y'all some tips on these eyebrows, girl. Because these things right hit, okay? So, we're going to just jump right in. I'm, I'm just, I guess, fixing my hair, doing, doing the norm. Showing y'all these messed up eyebrows, which they are. I haven't had my eyebrows waxed in like two months, I think. I'm so tired, but I'm not tired to stop working. Period. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. So, we're going to just jump right in into the tutorial. I'm just showing y'all all my products. This is a Ruby Kisses um, brow brush. I mean, brow pencil that I like to use the spoolie on just to brush my brows upward first, if that makes sense. So, you want to just take any spoolie, that, any brush, any pencil that is on and just brush your brows upward um, towards the, girl, got to check them edges, <laughs> towards, um, I guess, the angle or the way you want them to be. And that's exactly what I'm doing. But you'll see later that I'll brush them a different way as well as well. Product that I'm about to use is the Ruby Kisses pencil. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows first. Sometimes I like to do this step, it's up to you. You don't have to do this step. But I feel like because of the next product that I'm going to use, I feel like I want to go in with a brown first to fill in the um, spots in my eyebrows to make them a little fuller. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a pomade, pomade, I think, pomade, pomade from ABH. So yeah, so I like to fill them in with the brow pencil and then go in with a pomade and it's not even from ABH y'all it's from elf um i'll show you guys what i use i actually use a liner from elf i like the liner because it's matte it dries really fast and it dries matte guys it is not too slippery at all and i freaking love it and since i have jet black braids why not have jet black eyebrows too but it don't look that black on me, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. This is the e.l.f. Um, matte liner that I use for my eyebrows. And I'm going to go ahead and take my, I think it's my ABH 14 uh, brow, brow brush. The thinner ones that just launched this year. And I'm going to go ahead and line the bottom of my eyebrows first. Um, usually what you want to do is start in the middle and not at the beginning of your eyebrows when you're doing this step. But I started in the beginning, I think. Yeah, I started in the beginning because I'm just who I am. But I'm telling y'all, um, just start at the end of the toe with your eyebrows and then just follow it. Especially when you fill in your eyebrows first, it helps a lot, guys. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going in with that black liner from Elf. I know everybody's probably going to be like, oh my God, she's using a liner. Yeah, I know. I get it. I definitely get it. But it works for me. So you want to go ahead and do hair like strokes. Um, once you do that first line under your eyebrow, as you see, I'm just taking the brush and I'm going in with a light hand making hair like strokes and I'm not dabbing back into that black um elf liner at all because you don't want it to get messy because it can get messy really quick so and then you don't want to have a whole bunch of product in your eyebrows either because as y'all see that line is really thick but it's fine because once the concealer go on it it's going to look really sharp to me anyway Okay, guys, so as you see, I didn't go in the front of my eyebrows because I want that ombre look. And I just thought I had to tell you guys that you don't want to put a whole bunch of product in the front of your eyebrows. You want to have that ombre look. You want it to look 
like it's your real hairs in the front um you want to really go in on the tail the tail should be the darkest on your eyebrows and not the front um as you see i'm just making hair like strokes and i just took my finger just to wipe that product out because it was just going to be too much product guys like that's what you don't want you don't want too much product Okay guys, so next I'm just showing you my brush that I'm going to use to conceal my eyebrows and the concealer. So the brush is from Wet n Wild, it's just a flat brush and then the concealer is Makeup Revolution um, C10 concealer. I love this concealer because it dries matte. You really don't have to set this concealer but I always like to set just because that's just certain things that I have to do. I have a routine that I have to stick with because... I feel like if I don't stick with the routine, then my eyeshadow is not going to come out right. Nothing's going to come out right. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to take that one wild flat brush and I'm going to start in the middle of my brows. And then I'm not going to start directly on um, my brow line. I'm just going to start up um, below that a little bit. And then I'm going to take that brush to the line and then I'm going to go all the way to my tail. So, you definitely don't want to start really close to your brows because you never know if you're going to mess up um and you don't know how much product is going to go on your brows you don't want the product in your brow hairs either so as you guys see i'm just bringing it down i'm just taking that brush and that product and i'm just blending it down towards my lid that's usually where you want to blend down towards your lid so the product can smooth out together as you see, it's still not straight, guys. So, I'm going to go back in with some more product and make sure my line for my eye, the bottom eyebrow, the bottom eyebrow, my line for my lower eyebrow, my lower line eyebrow is straight. As you can see, I'm making it hella straight. So, yeah, guys. So, I'm just going to let you guys watch and then I'll be back. So as you see guys, I added more concealer to my eyelid and now I'm just taking my Zoeva, I don't even know the number of this brush, but it is the concealer buffing brush and I'm just buffing out the concealer down to my lid. As you can see, it is a smooth, and I mean smooth, smooth thin, smooth thin layer of the concealer and that's exactly how you want your lid to be primed when you're using the concealer you want it to be very smooth no creases you don't want too much product in one spot and not enough product in another spot um yeah you just want it to be smooth so when you do set or when you do add your eyeshadow it wouldn't be any creases so as you see i'm adding more concealer on my lid because i know y'all saw that it wasn't that much product on my lid and now i'm just buffing that out together so it can look smooth and that is definitely key to good eyeshadow is a smooth prime lid Okay, guys, so as you see, I still feel like the bottom of that line is still not straight enough. So I'm just going to go back in. I did not use more product. I'm just using whatever that's on that brush. Just go back in and try to make it as straight as possible, guys. Like, it is key. Like, and I am the type of person that I need this eyebrow to be extra straight, like extra fleeky. And if you want, if you feel like you went over the um concealer with the line you can go back in with your product from your dip brow or brow pencil or whatever you use and just straighten that line back out like that okay now i'm taking a different color makeup revolution concealer to do the top of my eyebrow and um this makeup revolution concealer is in the color c13 it's really close to my shade it's a little lighter but it's really close to my shade of my skin and as you guys see i'm not taking it straight on or by my brows the first 
um, line that I did, it was very, very, very off for my brows because I don't want to mess up. And I want this to be like a good sleek line and I don't want to have to keep going over and over it. So you just want to take your time when you're doing this. Um, just like the bottom, you just want to take your time. You just want to take your time. You don't want too much product and you don't want a little bit of product. So you want to use a good amount of product to do the top and the bottom of your eyebrow. And as you see, I'm going to go right back in with that brush and I'm just fixing everything that I see messed up guys I told y'all I am a perfectionist when it comes to my eyebrows and if something is not sitting right oh baby it's just not sitting right and it has to be fixed as y'all see this little corner is like killing me okay and I'm just petting it because I don't want to mess up the rest so I'm just petting it to perfection <laughs> if that makes sense but I'm going to just go ahead and let y'all watch what I do to fix this good old brow. So now, I took a smaller pencil to go on the top of my brows just to get a little closer to the brow. Just to get it a little bit more sharper, if that makes sense. I want it a little sharper. I want it a little fleekier. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, fleekier. But this uh, flower brush definitely works it's a lip brush but I use it for my brows and to cut my crease and everything else and it definitely works it definitely is uh, extra close to your brow hairs and um, get the line where you need it to be I'm not sure where I bought this at so please don't ask because I'm really not sure alright guys so now that you got that done I mean you can keep doing it <laughs> until you're liking but I'm about done with the top and I'm just looking at my brow and something is still bothering me so I'm gonna go back in with the ABH brush and I'm just going to try to make it better because I need to leave it alone <laughs> like I'm just so clutch OMG like but I think I'm gonna get it on this next clip and I'm just gonna blend out the concealer I haven't set the concealer at all with the bottle or the top um my next clip will be me just blending it out more at the ends of each of my the beginning of my lid and the tail of my lid so yeah guys i love the brow the brow is fixed now <laughs> i'm so hyped <laughs> i'm like omg and yeah this is the other brow on, and as you see, they are fleeky on fleek, child, on fleek. If you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you guys use for your brows to be on fleek. And until next time, peace.